Hello everyone, I am Sri Rupa, a product specialist and senior trainer working for y -axis. Today, it will be my pleasure to help you understand the difference between PT core and PT academic. I know all of you are extremely curious to know the difference between the two. Now, yes, as you have heard, that is correct. PT core is the newest general English test launched by Pearson on the 12th of February, 2024. So what is the difference between this new test, PT Core, and PT Academic, the test which have been into existence for, existence for years and years? To tell you the truth, there is not much of a difference. Um, yeah, let me take you through the similarities and the differences, then at the end of this video, you will have a clear idea about both the tests and the differences that they have. So let me take you to my whiteboard. Everything has been written for you. So PT Core, first of all, why has this test been launched? PT Core uh, is accepted by ISSC Canada for all kinds of economic visas, including visas for work purpose, uh, PR, citizenship, migration and everything, right? On the other hand, uh, test takers have been writing PT Academic for so many years because they are interested in settling down in Australia. Some of them are writing PT Academic. They have been writing PT Academic because they want to go abroad for higher studies, even universities in US do accept the PT academics course. So that is definitely a major difference between the two tests, the purpose of having two different tests. But when you look at the, con the task type, you will see the task types are more or less same. To tell you the truth, we have spotted two differences, as in three rather, Two task types have been replaced by new task types and one task type has been removed. First, let us understand what are the similarities. Okay, so yes, I've written over here, the purpose of PT Core is what? It tests general English through tasks related to everyday life and workplace scenarios. On the other hand, PT academic tests academic English with tasks related to study and professional skills. The content, there is a difference in the content of the test. While PT code will be testing, you know, general English as in English that, that we use uh, in general social settings, PT academic many a time does academic lectures that you have to listen to. That is one difference for sure. PT core has 19 task types because one task type has been removed, which is known as highlight correct summary. On the other hand, PT academic test takers have to take care of 20 different question types of task types. Okay, otherwise you will see that both the tests, the number of questions that you have to answer, the number of questions presented will be anything between 52 to 64 for both PT core and PT academic. The timing of the test, when a PT test taker, as in when a test taker is writing PT core, he or she has, you know, has to invest around two hours, the same holds good for test takers who have, you know, who is going to write PT academic or has written a PT academic, the test timing will always be approximately two hours for both PT core and PT academic. Automated scoring scale from 10 to 90. That is same for both core and academic. And yes, the scores are valid for two years. So once you have written the test, from the day you receive the scorecard, your score will be valid for two years irrespective of whether you're writing PT academic or PT core. So there are so many similarities. Then what are the differences? Let us understand that. So as I was mentioning a few minutes back, we have spotted two replacements and one removal. So what are those replacements? PT academic has 
five task types when it comes to speaking. PT core also has five task types. Now, PT academic has a task type known as written lecture. That has been replaced by response to a situation. The next one is when it comes to writing module, PT academic test takers have to write an essay. Now, they get 20 minutes for writing the essay and they have to keep in mind that they have, the essay should have minimum of 200 words and max of 300 words. On the other hand, for PT test takers, PT core test takers, things have become a bit easier, I would say, because they're expected to write an email and not an essay. And they get nine minutes for writing the email. The word limit set is 50 words to 120 words. So we can say things have become easier for you, for sure. So these are the two replacements. Written lecture has been replaced by respond to a situation. Essay writing has been replaced by email writing. Okay. And one removal. Highlight correct summary. That has been removed from the listening module. So when it comes to uh, PT academic, yes, test makers, they have to listen to a lecture for one and a half minutes to two minutes on the screen. There will be four, it, it can be anything between four to six, um, you know, answer choices and they have to click on the correct answer, which according to the test taker is the correct summary of the lecture that he or she has listened to. So that task definitely wanted you to take notes and then also the process of elimination has to be implemented so that you are down to one correct answer, which is the summary of what you have listened to. Now that has been removed. PT core does not have any task type known as highlight correct summary. So I would say again, the test has become a bit easy. Okay. So two replacements and one removal. Now one more thing that we have noted, summarize spoken text. When you're writing PT academic, you have one task type which is known as summarize spoken text, which belongs to your listening module. If you plan to write PT core, you will see summarize spoken text will be there for you too. So both PT core test takers as also PT academic test takers have to take care of the task type which is known as summarize spoken text. Now, for a PT academic test taker, the condition is that the summary that you're writing, so first of all, you have to listen to a lecture for one and a half to two minutes. You have to take notes while you're listening to the lecture. It is quite obvious because you listen to the lecture only once. So you have to take running notes while you're listening to the lecture. And based on your running notes, you have to write a summary and that summary should have minimum of 50 words, maximum of 70 words. And the time that you get for everything is 10 minutes. That is for PT academic test takers. Now for PT core test takers, what they have done is they have reduced the time. So now you get eight minutes for summarized spoken text. Okay. And the word limit set is 20 to 30 words. While a PD academic test taker has to write a summary having 50 to 70 words, as you can see, a PT core test taker has to write a summary having 20 to 300 words. So what do you understand from this? Definitely the test has become, this is an easier test. Okay. And I would like to elaborate more on this respond to a situation versus the lecture. So for a PT academic test taker, what they have to do is they will listen to a lecture. They have to take notes. Okay, and this belongs to the speaking module, right? They have to listen to a lecture. They have to take notes. And based on the notes that they have uh, taken, they have to retell the lecture. Now, the lecture that they will be listening to will be for one and a half to two minutes. But they get only 40 seconds to retell the lecture. In between, they get 10 seconds of preparation time. So note-taking capability will be tested thoroughly when you are writing a PT academic. Okay? 
Now, the test developers have decided that PT course should be easier as compared to PT academic. Accordingly, they have replaced PT, this one, this written lecture. Okay, this written lecture has been replaced by respond to a situation. Now, what is meant by respond to a situation? On your computer screen, you will see a prompt. Okay, and you will also listen to a speaker who will be reading aloud that prompt for you. And this prompt will always have a situation stated. So the total time that you have, so first you have to read the prompt, understand the situation. Then you get 20 seconds for preparation. And the, in these 20 seconds, you have to brainstorm the solutions. You know, at least write one or two solutions. And then you get 40 seconds for speaking. Now, what is meant by a situation? So yes, suppose the situation is something like this for you. Um, you have rented out your apartment to few students. So you expected them to take care of your flat. Unfortunately, the students could not take care of the flat. In fact, it's absolutely messy it, uh, when you went to visit your flat and you were absolutely disappointed because the students have let you down. They could not maintain the flat. They have failed in taking care of the cleanliness of the flat. Now, definitely, you will be upset, right? Now, the question is, what would you tell the students? How would you address the situation? How will you respond to a situation like this? So that is known as respond to a situation. So you should understand the topic scenario and accordingly frame the response. Many a times the situations will be having some kind of problem stated, but not always it can be stated. So that presence of mind, I should be able to, you know, imagine and quickly jot down the solutions that I can think of. I hardly get 20 seconds of preparation time when I listen to the beep tone. As soon as I listen to the beep tone and see the word recording on the screen, I should start speaking immediately. So that is must respond to a situation. You don't need to take notes and all, which was the case when it comes to written lecture. So definitely respond to a situation is an easier task type as compared to written lecture. So from this, we do understand that PT code is definitely an easier test as compared to PT academic. That is a reality. And to tell you the truth, if you have if you have prepared for PT academy, definitely PT core you can write. Of course, you have to give special attention to the new task types. But more or less, the task types are same, right? There is no difference when it comes to reading of PT core and PT academy. We have the same number of task types, multiple choice questions, single answer, multiple choice question, multiple answer, fill in the blanks, drag and drop, fill in the blanks, drop down, reorder paragraph. So that is it. That is a difference, and I'm sure uh, you're feeling more confident now because this question had been there. What is the difference between the two tests? Now, I do believe that you will start preparing for the PT test. That's up to you whether it depends upon your destination. So know what you want and choose, choose your destination and accordingly prepare for the test that you would like to write so as to reach your desired destination. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do believe that the information shared will be of great help to you. So I'm signing off for today. I will be back to you with another video very soon. Till then, take care and keep preparing for the exam that you are planning to write. All the best.